Good morning from the northern fells of the Lake District on a cold and frosty morning. It's about 20 minutes after sun up. It's about zero degrees. It's a lovely clear morning. Good forecast today. I'm going to tackle the Blencathra group of fells. Starting with this one which is Southerfell. And then going to climb up Blencathra and then along to Mungerdale Common, Bannerdale Crags, and then Bowscale Fell to finish off. So five Wayne rides today. We're expecting it to take about six, maybe seven hours. Not expecting anything too drastic with the weather. Although the forecast yesterday did say that the winds could get up to 20, maybe even 30 mile an hour on the summits. But uh, it's calm at the moment. There's no sign of that at all. Lovely clear morning. There's no snow on the ground or on the summits, uh, so I've not taken an ice axe or uh, crampons. I have got micro spikes though, just in case it does get a bit slippery underfoot. But I am prepared to head back or change route if need be. I've parked in Mungsdale, which is down there. And it really is a nice morning. That's. Great Mel Fell over there. Clough Head just peeking out behind the shoulder of Southerfell. Um, and then Great Dodd over there. Okay, so let's get on. Straight up Southerfell. Still plodding on up Southerfell. It's a big grass mound, is this? Not a rocking site. This area over here is very popular with hang gliders and uh, paragliders, presumably for that exact reason. <laughs> Glencathra has just come into view. Looking majestic. You can see the lovely saddle shape of the summit uh, from this aspect, hence where it gets its alternate name of Saddleback. So I'm hoping to be up there in around about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'm on the top of the Southern Fell Plateau now, so Southern Fell, sorry. Um, I'm expecting the summit to arise just up here grounds sort of looks frozen but it's not really it's quite soft underfoot so it's not been as slippery as I would have expected it's all okay so far wind's starting to get up, get up a little bit but nothing more than that still can't see a summit must be up here somewhere though It looks like this is the summit of Southerfell. There's no other areas of high ground around. I was expecting maybe a few stones to depict a cairn, but not so. So, quite a nice summit view. Great Mel Fell over there. Clough Head over there and Great Dodd and the rest of that range over there. Where I'm heading next, Blencathra. Uh, this is Bannerdale Crags here, where I'm going to go to. Well, the route is actually Blencathra, then the other side of Blencathra, which you can't see, is the flat mound of Mungerdale Common. And then I'm going to come back over this side again. This is Bannerdale Crags. And then I'm going to climb along to Bowscale Fell there, and then back around uh, into this valley, and then back around to the car down in Mungerdale. So that's the plan. So, next objective is to follow the path along and then pick a way up onto, um, up towards Scales Tarn and then uh, Blencathra itself. 
Okay. Onwards. Okay, so I've just dropped down off the summit of Southern Fell and I can see the path ahead. So we're going to be heading along this path here on the right up towards a little hollow where Scales Tarn sits and then walking up to the start of Sharp Edge going across Sharp Edge on the right there to Fowl Crag which takes us up onto Atkinson Pike which is the sort of subsidiary summit on the right there of uh, the Blencathra Plateau and then going along to the True Summit up onto there on the left so you can see the route ahead let's hike it Okay, nearly at uh, Scales Tarn. Sharp Edge is in view now, which is the little ridge. It's only very short, but just across there. And then that's Foul Crag, the steep, craggy, gnarly bit there that takes you up onto the Blencathra Plateau. So, uh, should be up there in about half an hour, I reckon. Weather's still good. Wind's got up a little bit. Uh, it's a bit more exposed where I am at the moment and it's likely to get a bit more breezy up there I'm sure but yeah the ground isn't frozen at the moment since, since the sun has come up it seems to have thawed so looking good I've just uh, reached the start of Sharp Edge. It's looking down to Scales Tarn down there. That's Sharp Edge there, leading up to Foul Crag, and then Atkinson Pike, and then Blancathra Summit is over there on the left somewhere. So let's tackle Sharp Edge. There's no ice at all, it's in good condition, so no need for mag spikes. Um, I will have to mount the camera on the uh, rucksack chest strap though because I'm going to need both hands for this and particularly foul crag which in my opinion is uh, much harder than sharp edge yourself. Okay, let's get the camera mounted and tackle sharp edge.
looking back over Sharp Edge there and down to Scales Tarn. It is a bit breezy actually, which makes it a little bit more challenging. And that's Foul Crag up there. Now, if I seem to remember, it's the left hand uh, side of it which is a little bit easier. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep an eye on this hiker in front and see which way he goes as well because it's been about eight years since I've done this last time. Okay. Okay, made it to the top of Foul Crag and foul it was. Oh, that's tearing me out. Right. Well, this we've got a fairly gentle meander up to Blencathra Summit now. We're pretty much in between the saddle area of uh, Blencathra at the moment. And I was just thinking, the last time I was up here was um, it must have been seven years ago, you know. Uh, I took my lad up here when he was nine um, to wild camp on the summit and we camped just over there uh, on a flat grassy area just between the, uh, well in the middle of the saddle essentially. There's a little tarn there as well which we use for a water supply. And uh, we did it for National Den Day for charity. <laughs> so the idea was to try and build the highest den <laughs> in England. So uh, we took a tarp up there rather than a tent. Uh, so it was more like a den than an actual tent. So we camped under our tarp and we had a great night. But I remember it was, um, it was June the 21st, longest day of the year. And uh, it must have been about two o'clock in the morning or so. It was dark and we were asleep and I woke up to the sound of uh, voices and I poked my head out of the, the tarp and uh, there was a load of fell runners all running past with the lights on and one of them shouts, hey up, there's a, there's a tent here, somebody's camping. And uh, anyway, I poked my head out of the door and asked them what they were doing and they were on the Bob Graham round. <laughs> there's about 30 of them. So uh, I wish them all the best and they wish me a happy night and on they went. Uh, and it was a great night. Uh, one for the memories. I didn't do a video of that, but I have written a post all about it on the blog and I'll put a link to it up in the description up there because it's by far and away the most popular blog post that I've written about wild camping with a nine year old and the logistics of it, etc. Uh, so do go and check that out as well. Right, we're nearly on Blencathra Summit, it's just over here. So hopefully it's not too busy. Made it, summit of Blencathra. Superb views. Wow. Lovely. That's over to Cloughhead in the Dodge. Thirlmere. Oh, Helvellyn over there with a little bit of a uh, snow on Thirlmere Derwent Water Skiddo Skiddo Little Man Lovely, really nice views Right, next target is Mungsredale Common which is over there somewhere In fact I think it's that flat area over there I don't think it's very inspiring Wainwright's little joke I think but we shall go and investigate and see it's pretty cold actually up here now that wind forecast of 20 to 30 miles an hour has come through 
it is quite bitter it's about minus five degree wind chill right onwards to Mungerydale Common okay just wandering over to Mungerydale Common which is that mound just there um, it's a pretty uninspiring walk to be honest across all these grassy tussocks uh, but that's where we're heading why it's a Wainwright I have absolutely no idea because it doesn't look anything special whatsoever but anyway there it is nice views of the Skidor group on scale fell lower man Skidor and then all of these northern uh, the fells north of Skidor or back of Skidor that I climbed last time uh, nice views over all those as well a little bit of sunshine over there so I reckon that's about 20 minutes away I think maybe half an hour it's probably deceptively far is that isn't it uh, have to watch the old foot placement here because these tussocks are a bit of an ankle breaker if you just catch them wrong so I'll switch the camera off and uh, concentrate on where I'm putting my feet so this is it folks the summit if you can call it a summit of Mungrisdale Common I honestly do not know why this is a Wainwright it has absolutely none of the features that you'd expect from a standalone fell and it's an absolute quagmire I've visited here in a period of relative dry weather and my feet are soaking it's just a squelch fest I can't imagine how bad this must be in, uh, in wet weather yeah it must have been a joke it must have done I mean, I'd have stopped at 213, I think, personally. But, anyway, it's done now. And uh, I won't be coming here again. When I've completed the Wainwrights, there's going to be many fells which I'll revisit, do different routes, you know, many times. Uh, and there are some which I'll never set foot on again, and this is one of them. It, there really isn't any reason to come here unless you're a Wainwright bagger. So, yeah, unless you are doing this silly thing of collecting my nights, don't bother. Right, let's get out of here. Next up, Bannerdale Crags. Okay, I finally left Mungerydale Common. Felt like I've been there for hours. Um, that's Bannerdale Crags over there. The other side of it, I think, is quite steep and craggy doesn't look it from this angle and then that's bow scale fell there so these are the last two to go and then uh, that'll be me done for the day then when you go hiking you always forget something don't you well at least i always do and i've forgotten something today packed virtually everything that i thought of in the rucksack here i've got a down jacket um, waterproof top and bottom, spare warmer gloves, spare warmer hat, uh, power bank in case the phone dies, uh, first aid kit, everything you can think of but I forgot the buff or the snood whatever you call them uh, and there's just an icy wind at the moment and it would be great just to be able to pull one up over my mouth and nose just keep my face warm but uh, yeah that was a thing I forgot today so a lesson to be learned in the colder months never leave home without a book okay made it to the summit of Bannerdale Crags it's getting pretty windy now uh, Lovely views over to Blencathra there, where I was a couple few hours ago. So I'm guessing the crags are further over that side. In fact, they are really, when I look at the map. Uh, this is the summit. There is a little sort of, uh, what looks like more of a cairn over there, where that guy is over there, but uh, I've GPSed it and that is not the summit. This is the summit. Well, I found the crags on Bannerdale Crags. They are here. 
I'm not going to get too close because it's very steep. But I've managed to find a little sheltered spot out of the wind. Oh. So one more fell to go. Uh, the path there just travels along the skirts along the edge of the crags and then up onto the top of Bond Scale Fell there and then just follow the shoulder of land all the way down, back down there to the valley below. Summit of Bow Scale Fell A wind shelter. Just spits and spots of rain starting now, uh, which is okay. The rest bulk of the day has been fine and dry. So these are the views. That's the route I'm going to be heading back in a mo. That's the first fell of the day. Saw the fell this morning. Fannadale Crags, where I've just been. Glen Cathra. Skiddo and around. Okay, temperature has dropped, it's got really windy now, cold. I've got the down jacket on. Um, and definitely wishing I brought that buff. <laughs> okay, right, not going to linger around. Time to head back down that way. That's the craggy side of Bannerdale Crags. <laughs> I sat on the summit of there 45 minutes ago. Probably would miss out uh, Mungsredale Common unless you want to get wet feet. Uh, but if you're not a Wainwright bagger, give it a miss and go straight from Blencathra to Bannerdale Crags. <laughs> uh, but apart from that, it's a cracking day. Next hike, I tackle all the northern uh, fells of Blencathra, so the back of Blencathra, if you like. And after that, just a few stragglers, and I'm home and dry.